Hi everyone, it's John here, also known as Comic Fan Man, and I had actually gotten some questions as to how I was able to make my Vicron tank head um, stay on the figure without wiggling. As you can see, he's very nice and tight, even though this is not the Vicron head. Normally what you need is the Vicron head. There's a peg inside of this helmet for the Vicron head. And I'm actually using the Faker Buck, uh, Revelation Faker Buck, and it still does have the Revelation Faker head. But as you can see, it's adhered to nice and tight. Um, originally, when I did this figure um, with this design, uh, I did silicone glue it, um, but uh, it kept falling over or, um, you know, when I would move the figure around, it would still pop off uh, simply because, you know, hot glue isn't really meant to last that long. It's mostly like for arts and crafts. Um, so what I did here was I found a non-glue way to uh, get this on there. I, it, there's no adhesive of any kind and it stays nice and tight. So let me show you what I did. All right, so here are all the pieces um, taken apart. As you can see, it is the faker head and body. Here is the Eagle Tank head. Um, and as you can see in here, this is all set up with a peg. That's for Vicron's helmet. And that is what you would normally be using to sit on top of Vicron's helmet. Now, what I did to get this secure onto Faker's head was I made these little pieces here. This is made out of foam core uh, with just some black tape, uh, just so that it hides, it doesn't uh, stick out when you put the helmet on it. And these little patches are very easy to make. Uh, again, I just use foam core, but you could use cardboard or uh, whatever else you have. So I'm gonna show you how to place this on here. So you take the helmet, you place it on, and um, as you can see, it's already sitting in there okay. Um, and basically what I had done was I had filled this up with uh, like a silicone glue, um, but I found this to be a lot better uh, because the silicone glue would eventually crack and give way. So I would just take this and slide it up in, into the back here. I would take this bigger piece and slide it into one of the sides, stuffing it in there, and then just fill the rest of the gap with these smaller pieces. And that would be it. And now the head is attached. And as you can see, you can articulate the mouth, you can open it, you still see his face in there. Uh, hold on, let me straighten it out a little bit. I didn't attach it straight enough and and there it is you got the eagle head you can use by you can use the faker head inside the eagle head and it'll articulate and it'll hold nice and tight nice and steady that's all you need to do all right so that's all you have to do um, and as you can see, I can move his head around, it articulates, his head follows the, the eagle head, um, and everything works really well with this design. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this uh, gives you ideas as to how to make um, your other Vicron suits work if you do not have a second Vicron for that head to, to work on it. Alright, have a great day, y'all. Thanks, bye.